What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So today I am reviewing the Joker. Alright, so I just got back from the movies after watching Joker and directed by Todd Phillips, the person I'm pretty sure who did the Hangover trilogy. I can't remember for certain, but I believe that's correct and honestly this movie was interesting to say the least because I went into this movie expecting it to be amazing and it wasn't disappointing per se but something just felt a little off and I think I know what it was. So basically the movie follows the Joker as he actually becomes the Joker not really causing terror on his own per se but inciting terror amongst others and doing a lot without really trying if I should say. I don't know if that's the correct way to put it, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Arthur Fleck, I'm pretty sure that's his name in the movie itself, he's pretty much the main character we're following. He is the main character we're following, but it's not really a Joker movie, it's an Arthur Fleck movie, and that's not really something I'm gonna complain about, because I expected this movie to be that kind of like psychological thriller kind of thing, not really that much action and all that that's going on, but I was hoping for a little more Joker in this movie itself. It felt a little long for what I got. Like I wanted, you know, a good portion of the build up to be, yeah, Arthur, Phil Arthur Fleck and like the whole build up to the Joker coming out and like doing Jokery stuff. But I felt like it was too short amount of time with the Joker itself that all this long build up with Arthur didn't feel like I got the payoff I deserved. And that's not to say I didn't like what I got. It just felt like I should have taken out about 20 minutes or so, 10, 20 minutes of Arthur Flex storyline and give a little bit more to the Joker so I can see the Joker itself more than what I got. The acting is superb in this movie. I didn't expect Bruce Wayne's origin to as Batman to be kind of thrown into there as well. The moment I saw the um, theater and you see Thomas the uh, Waynes are coming out I'm like oh, okay you know what's gonna happen but it didn't feel like oh here we go again another killing of the Waynes but it was really nice and I would have personally loved it more if it actually was the version where Thomas Wayne becomes Batman himself because I think that'd be very good for the um the interactions between um, Joker and Batman, all things considered, that happens in this movie. And I do think that the whole dynamic between Thomas Wayne and Arthur was really good, with the whole mother reveal and everything. It's, it's different, and I enjoyed it. I'm just gonna say this, this movie was overall really enjoyable. I was disappointed with Shazam from DC, I expected more from that. And I wouldn't say I was disappointed with this movie, but I just wish there were one or two changes made differently to make it a better experience. Nonetheless, this movie is a really good movie. I can't fault too much of it, and I would give it a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. Let me know if you've seen Joker in the comment section down below. What did you think of the movie? Are you looking forward to it? Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys.